Okay, so our main story today, Kiki Palmer. You don't know what's going on, do you? Just the 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 highlight. What do you call it? The type, the headline. No, I mean you haven't been watching to see what's going on. Mm-mm. Backstory a little bit, if you can remember, because I don't know if you remember her so boyfriend. She, well, remember a, a she jealousy that she when she was the dressed, usher thing dressed in a certain way. And, okay, so you remember the usher thing? A little jealous hearted. Yes, you remember the usher thing? Yeah, she went to the usher concert. Those right. of you who don't know, Kiki Palmer. She went to the Usher concert, and according to him, she was wearing something that was a little too revealing. Um, it was pretty. It was okay. She just had her butt. She had a, a thong on, so that's what she turned around. You could see her, see her thong, her butt. Mm-hmm. But other than that, she was covered up. It wasn't like she was all out and all that stuff. But uh, it was a debate on social media. Men were debating and saying that a man should be able to tell this woman. I don't like what you wearing. And then women, my body, my choice. It was all back and forth. And we both agreed that a guy should have the right to say, I don't I don't like that. That's a little too revealing. Mm-hmm. And you know the type of man you have. So if you have a, if you have a guy that don't care, because we talked about Russell Wilson, mm-hmm. not caring. He's with Sierra. So if you got oh. a guy who don't care, then... And I'm wondering why they don't. They probably don't care, Lenore. That's, no, it, I'm, I'm wondering... Awesome. I'm wondering why they don't care if they're white, if they're their woman on their arms are almost half naked because they don't probably see nudity that way. Probably they with the way we see it, they don't probably see it like that. Okay. People different, everybody different. Plus, they trust Yeah, maybe. And you know how I am. I'm a I'm a big girl, but I act like I'm uh, size ten. That that's in your own home. <laughs> that's another thing. My mom said you sure do. That's in your home. If you're out in public, it's different. But I, if it was socially acceptable, they like that. What's that comment? That 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 line in the song. What's his name? Song Ludacris mm-hmm. with a, a freak in the, the bed and a oh, wife at, wife at home. Okay, a wife in the street or something. And a freak a in wife the bed. at home. Yeah, freak. something like that. Okay. Well, anyway, that's how they. So she knew she had a guy that's like that, right? Mm-hmm. So people were saying he has the right to say something, and that was what the big argument was. Well, right then and there, I felt like he was wrong for the way he did it. Remember I said that? He posted something, didn't he? I said he was wrong. Let me just do this one until Wendy come in. I said he was wrong um, because I felt like he needed to say that to her offline. Right. And that he was embarrassing her. Not to use social media to do that. Why are you telling her you don't like what she wearing and, and along the lines of a mom wouldn't wear something like don't that? Don't air your dirty laundry out loud. So okay. I knew it was something wrong with him then. I okay. didn't like him then. Okay. Because I said a real man covers his wife mm-hmm. and wants and loves his wife. He wouldn't embarrass her like that in front of everybody. Right. So I felt like something was wrong with him then. I had a side eye on him then. Are they married? Well, the baby mama. Oh, okay. So I had a side eye on him then Mm -hmm. and was watching him ever since. Well, (laughs) we didn't know. Allegedly, he's been beating her the whole time. They've been together. He's an abuser. She's saying this now? He moved this. Allegedly. Though this was up. That's why I did this. uh, He's an abuser. She's just been quiet about it. That's not good, though. A lot of women... Don't say anything. Oh, when do you hear? Let's see. That's not good. I don't know. I don't, we don't see you in the room. Are you in the room? You see us? Oh, you know what? I'm so stupid. Mm -hmm. I forgot to do this again. Why do I always forget that? Look at my mom laughing. She a moron, ma. A moron. <laughs> I call everybody else a moron, and I'm a moron. The good thing about it is, I admit when I'm a moron. Some people don't. They go their whole lives dumb, and they don't even know that they stupid. But she not in the notifications. I've been in a, I've been a moron all my all this time, and I didn't know. <laughs> You might have to go out and go back in, Wendy. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. God. Why am I like this? 
Why am I a moron? I don't know. We get those Susie sausage head moments. I think they're giving her another link. You think? Yeah. Not always generate a new. I don't link. see you, Wendy. It's the you want to generate a new link? Here, do this. I don't see her. You see her? Oh, here she is. Now she's here. Now you here. Now I see you. She wasn't here before. Now we see you. All right, there you are. Hey, lady. We didn't see Hi, you before. Hey, so I wasn't a moron. Hey, I wasn't Hi. a moron. We, she wasn't there, was she? No, but what happened? What I happened? don't know. But you're there now, so that's what matters. I, I, I learned that when you did a commercial, I get knocked out. Oh, so when the commercials come on, it knocks you out? Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's All right. Well, we know Hi, now. Hi, you know what? Hey, Hi, you know lady. What? Spread it open. Hey, Kim. Spread hey, it open Mom. Bigger. Hi, Wendy. Hey, Mom. Good to hear she, from you. She said, good she said, to hear from you. She said, hey. She said, good to hear from you. Okay. Hey. Hey. Look face good. Face oh, up. that's right. Okay. Just Never girl. mind. It's just so much black spots. What does it matter? I, for me, for design purposes, I don't like that. But go ahead. Because we are covering her face. <laughs> this girl. Now I, now I can't. Okay. Hold on, y'all. She messed me up. There we go. All right, Wendy, we were talking up. about um, Kiki Palmer. Have you He's been following the story with her uh, no good boyfriend? I heard, he had been, I heard he had been whipping her backside. Thank you. For the whole two years. Really? But he was saying, he saying, when he said when she did that party with Usher in um, Las Vegas, and she had on that real skimpy outfit, mm -hmm. and she looked so sexy. He couldn't deal with it. A That's lot of men can't deal with having an entertainer for a wife and vice versa. That's Some what I'm saying. Some people can't handle it. Yep. It's a special person. Yep. When That's your boyfriend sees you with your tongue down somebody's mouth, yep. it takes a special person. I've been there. Yep. So that's what I said. He wasn't, he shouldn't have been probably with her from the very beginning because he has an no. issue with that whole lifestyle. Did she, him out? Did she get rid of him? Well, did she, she get did. Rid of him? She did a restraining order. Wow. It Good says, for her. It says Good here. For her. Good, Kiki. Thumbs up. Yep. It says Kiki Palmer is requesting a sole custody of their eight month old son, Leotis. She called him Leo, whom she shares with Darius Jackson after alleging the child's father has been physically abusive on multiple occasions. On Thursday. <laughs> She filed a request for a um, domestic violence restraining order in Los Angeles, according to the documents mm -hmm. that a lot of people been showing the documents. Basically, she said that um, that's a couple of things he did. She said that this this last time she was in the house. I'm just paraphrasing because I'm not going to read documents. She was in the house and they don't live together. And she was in her room on the phone with her mom in the bedroom. Her son wasn't there. He was with her sister. Her sister had picked him up earlier and taken him to see family members and stuff. Mm -hmm. So he came, Darius came there looking for his son. And she said he bust through the door, the bedroom door, and he said, I heard all I needed, which leads me to believe she probably was talking about him on the phone with her mom. <laughs> <laughs> for him to say, I heard all I need to hear. Right? Yeah. So she said I didn't he <laughs> didn't have any keys. He would trespass. I didn't uh, open the door and let him in. He came in. So she said he mm. got mad and they started arguing and she said it was um 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 they went down the stairs. She said he sat down. She said she moved behind or moved away cuz she wanted to put some furniture between the two. Apparently because he's been um abusive in the past allegedly. So she knows how he could get it didn't work. She said he stood up, got in her face, started yelling at her, grabbed her by her throat, and slammed her down on the couch. Sounds like he's bipolar. Now, here's Sounds the like problem. He's bipolar. And he was like, I want my son. Here's the problem with this nut job. She has surveillance cameras. It's all on camera. Oh, that's so it's video yeah. camera doing this. In her paperwork, she says it's all on camera, and here's some still shots. For the record, if you go, y'all can look up. I'm not going to show him here. Public record. She's public record. To the camera. 
She probably played to the camera because he wouldn't know it, and she knows how to do that. Well, he's done it more than once. And wow. he may not know she has surveillance cameras. I wouldn't tell him if he's abusive. I wouldn't well, tell him I got I'm cameras saying, in my house. He knows the cameras are there, so she she could play to that camera, especially if he doesn't know they're there. Right. She can make sure they see whatever it is right. she wants them to see. Well, I would, you too. You know, she's, she's been through a lot because in her childhood, she was molested by her female oh. cousin. Oh. She spoke about yeah. this? Or is this a legend? Yes. No, she, uh, it came out of her mouth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it here's came the out thing. Of her mouth. Let me tell you what he finished doing. So he slammed her down on the couch, and she shows still shots of it. Again, you could go on the internet and see it. It's everywhere. You can actually see him doing it on the still shots of everything she's seeing <laughs> in the paperwork. So she waited now My to mama. do this. Well, this is the reason why she said because of Leo and her mom and them said, you need to do this. He doesn't need to grow up seeing his father yeah. abuse no. his mom allegedly. Right. And that's if she even no. lives because he can he can he slam her down her. one time and she may not get back oh, yeah. Come on. So and another time she said he slammed her down fine. on the stairs and she said she got that on video too. And then another time, it was several times all in her paperwork that she was saying he was verbally abusive and physically abusive. So she said this was her moment where she said I have to Stop. I have to get away from him and I have to file a restraining order. So she's filing a restraining order and she's also um, filing for full custody because she says that he's been, um, she's seen him, we don't know, allegedly, being a little rough, rough at it with, his, with her son and she don't like that because she feel like that's remember, kind of going on remember, the abusive side too. Remember that scene in The Color Purple? Where her husband took the baby, hung it out the window, mm -hmm. and then dropped it. Mm -hmm. So you got to be careful because that could transfer over to the boy when he's able to talk and say, no, he could snatch him up. No, she she's doing the right thing. Absolutely. Well, this one, go. everybody got on it because her mom was on the phone. One of her sisters was upstairs and she started running down the stairs because Kiki was screaming. Then he they got him to leave because they said they was calling the police. So he get, grabbed her phone, she said. And so she said he started, she stopped wanting to stop him because she didn't want him to take her phone. So she said she started right. to try to block him from driving off and he almost hit her. By that time, the police came. He said he didn't have her phone. He threw it in the, he always throwing stuff. Right. He threw it in the bushes and I mean, um, the, the driveway. Another incident, he threw some of her, her keys, car keys in the bushes. He's That's a thrower. He's a thrower. He likes throwing stuff. Them. We don't want him He's throwing He's an immature. Baby. He's a kid. Yeah. He's a kid with an emotional problem. But you know, they should have made him find those things. It's, sa it's so That's sad disgusting. though that they've been together for about two years that I was asked telling Kim that. Yeah, yeah in a toxic relationship. That's what I'm saying. And then she's in. She's in. I'm not. This I know. I know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Talk. Go ahead. <laughs> um, she's um because she's in the in entertainment field and she knows a lot of people. I was hoping that she would have caught this before she had his baby. Like if you would have seen the signs, if he was abusive and laid hands right. on her before right. she got right. pregnant, it would have been wiser to get out of it. But of course, the baby, you know, is here now and yeah, she's loving it or whatever. Over. I mean, it's not about being right, right. I'm just she saying, did, was this happening? Did she? Cause, no, cause, she said it wasn't. Well, that's what I'm saying, because her baby yeah. is not two. Yeah. So that means that he, he was abusive had, from the know, beginning. No, she said he started to have the light skin daddy syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, he's got light skin and curly he's hair. Good. I can have a baby. Yeah. <laughs> she said he started to get abusive. But then once she got pregnant and stuff, she probably felt like it's too late to leave him. That's yeah. my father's child and all this other stuff. Or he won't be in the car. I'll change baby, him or something. You know. Yeah. I'll change. He'll I change. hate hearing these stories. I really do. Yeah. Why do women always think they can change men? Why? Yeah. Why do we Why do no. we do that? I don't know. What's that about? I don't know. Have you, you think, ever done it? Have you ever done it? You know what? I've heard women that that are that were in relationships that prayed their husbands through something. Mm -hmm. So other than that, they wasn't. They didn't go in and saying, "I'm going to change him," because these were women of God. So they figured, Holy Spirit, you got to touch him. And they and probably whatever. was married. 
and they were they were waiting on God's move. And a lot of some women had succeeded because the man, because it's the will of the man, right? He his will he opened up and and God changed. You know he he changed because of that. Mm-hmm. And then there's some so women. When you were young, when you when you were young, you never did that as no. a teenager. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Okay. I, no, the, the thing with me, Wendy, and, and, and my sister probably definitely, we're the type of woman, if you even raise your hand, you're, you're oh, dead. Oh, I know that. You're dead. Oh, no, I've never had no man hit me. He be yeah, yeah, yeah. The other part, maybe no, right, like maybe something in a personality or something. Yeah. You might be hoping it's right. Yeah. yeah. But I feel yeah, like that's... you don't have to stay for somebody to change if they physically abusing you. I'm hoping that right. she becomes it's a... It's like Maya Angelou said, if you see a red flag, mm-hmm. you know yeah. what I mean? Get out of Dodge. Well, this is her mom. This is her mom. Kiki Palmer's mother responds to, okay, her um, his brother is an actor, okay? Serranus Jackson. He's famous. He's okay. on some show. I don't know. Y'all probably know. Okay. And he's a famous black actor. And he um, said that um, he kind of tweeted that it was Kiki's issue, problem. Like she's um um crazy and out here, whatever. She, she, and yeah, she stirs she's it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. probably just very feisty, you know what I mean? Right. But anyway, so Kiki Palmer's mother is responding to his tweet. He deleted the tweet after I mean after she came back. This is it, this is her mom. Look, I've never done anything like this. I've been in this business for 22 years. I've seen a lot of stuff, but this is, this is, I I can't help myself. For Sharonis Jackson to post on his Twitter, uh, uh, the ridiculous stuff that he's posted when he knew his brother was abusive. I went to Sharonis over a year ago and told him that his brother was abusive to my daughter and he said, uh, well, I used to be like that too. What? So now he's posting on Twitter like he's this uh, special guy. We know he's the biggest boy in Hollywood. He's disrespectful to women, just like his little brother. He taught his brother how to be abusive. So he don't get to act like he's this special guy. No, you're a boy and you're a part of the problem. He's disrespecting his Okay. So then he comes back. Can you, tell, can you paraphrase it for me? Because remember, I couldn't hear it. I could just she, see it. She pretty much said that his brother, what I just said, he doesn't get to come on Twitter or whatever and say that um, Kiki is the issue or all this other stuff. And that um, she said that she told him, his brother, a year ago that he was um, his brother was beating on um, Kiki and his brother said he learned that from him. So she's saying, that's what she's wow. saying, his, his, my, her mom. So he comes back, his brother comes back and says, she's lying. He says she's lying and that the truth will come out. And he got tapes, I guess, of her threatening his family. This is so ridiculous, isn't it? So then people on the internet are saying, you darn right, she probably he got tapes of her threatening his family. If he's beating on, if his brother's beating on his daughter, her daughter, she probably calling and cussing him out doing everything. So my whole thing with this story is it doesn't matter how famous you are. It don't matter how you look. You see how people can end up being in abusive relationships, just like Hallie on Barry was in abusive relationships and she was beautiful. So it don't matter what you look like, how much money you got, no. everything. It's about your no. esteem and about how you feel about yourself. And so and he, he needs to build. Two, two, two damaged people. Both of them are damaged. Yes. In different ways. Because like I said, she spoke on that molestation. So when two, you know, damaged people come together, it's bound to be an explosion. Yeah. It's so we'll happen. see. It's like a time bomb. So we'll see. We'll pray for Kiki Palmer in this situation. And we'll also follow this story to see what happens after this. Because um, we know he's going to say something. The, the, the and you know what? Him. Nothing is worse than being a friendship or a relationship where you feel like you got to walk on eggshells, watch what you say. Yeah. That's a very toxic, stressful situation. Yeah. All right. She becomes an advocate now because she's famous and people look up to her. People like her acting. They like her personality, especially when she was on that Good Morning America show with Mike Strahan and Sarah. Yeah. 
her personality was so over, you know, bubbling. Yeah. And people are probably sitting yeah, back up. They're really hurting that she's hurting. And she grew up, we grew up, well, I mean, she grew up with us. Akilah and the B. Yeah, and, we, we I mean, watched her. On. Yes. So people yeah. was mad. They told me they going to beat him up. And, ah! you know, people take Kiki Palmer like that's their sister. <laughs> They're like, no, we've been watching her since she was five years You're old. You're lay a hand on her again. We coming at you. So, <laughs> so let's so watch this. she'll be an advocate for this and gets healing. And hopefully he gets help. Yes, very much. And I'm hoping that even with the lawsuit and all that's going on and the, and the allegations, because she has it on footage, vi video, that his brother will also learn from this that you guys need help in your family. And quit, and he needs to stay out of it. <laughs> Dude, you got one foot on a banana peel and one out of the business. Okay. You don't go up against Kiki Palmer. Thank you. Your brother, we don't even know who you are. Uh -huh. You on one show. <laughs> and you okay. talking bad about somebody we grew up seeing. Even if it's true, what a state for sake argument is true. Mm -hmm. You can't say, that's like somebody coming out saying Sissy Tyson and you a new actress. I can't stand Sissy Tyson. And she just, we'll be like, what? what? Okay, have several seats. Well, I don't I, care I, what Sissy Tyson is in person. You are nobody. <laughs> so you need to be quiet. <laughs> that's what he needs to do. He needs yeah. to sit down and be quiet. His and brother needs to stay out of it. I'm sure. I'm sure if you're watching Kiki, I'm sure you have security. But if you don't get it, she needs to get it right away. A restraining Very order is security. nothing but a piece of paper. I know that's all it is. Yeah. That's absolutely right. Mm -hmm. And they'll challenge that. They don't care. Yep. They're ignorant. They're they're out of control. He all right. Let's say hi to everybody. Be quiet. Yes, true. Christopher hi. C. Christopher C. says hello. Um, hi, Emerald Kim. says, hey, ladies. Emerald saying hi to you, Wendy. Hey, Em. Hey, Em. <laughs> um, Emerald says, breakups are hard and even worse when you don't have mental maturity. Mm -hmm. And Justice yeah. Rawl is saying hello, everybody. Especially when the baby is involved. Hi, I know. Hi. So let's keep, let's, we'll follow this story, y'all. If 